What's going on? I'm Justin. Welcome to my channel, Diabet Tech. Today I'm talking all things carb counting. I'm giving you all of my tips from the apps I use, the voice assistants you can use, and even using a computer to look up all the different types of foods so you know the carb count. Carb counting is so important with diabetes and treating with insulin because if you don't get the insulin dosage right, you can go high or you could go low. Luckily, I am on a closed loop system and I highly recommend those types of systems, pumps that talk to CGMs, continuous glucose monitors, because those can regulate your insulin so that it can save you from these highs and lows. Before I get into it, I've got videos coming out every single Friday, so make sure you subscribe, click that bell for alerts if you wanna get an alert when my videos come out. And if you enjoyed today's video or learned something new, give it a like. As always, I've always got a lot on social media if you wanna follow me there. There are my handles. All right, let's get into it. What I've done with all the apps I'm about to show you is I have a folder on my phone that has all of them. It's my health folder. And so whenever I need to look up carbs, I use whichever app makes the most sense in that situation. First, let's start with all the different types of apps that you can use, whether it's Android or iOS, to help you carb count. And let's start with my favorite app, and that is Figui. I'm gonna open it up on my phone. So this is the thing. For Android users, you're gonna to have to use your web browser in order to access Figui. Just go on there, Google it, and you'll find Figui. But for iOS users, there is an application. There also is an application for Android, and some of you may be able to download it, but I've been hearing that it's not working for everyone, but that web service does work. As you can see with Figui, it gives you these visualizations of food, which is absolutely incredible. So I could go in here and search anything. As you can see, I last searched bananas. You can see banana bread, you see bananas, you see baby bananas. Let's say I'm going to eat some banana, right? But my banana isn't as big as the banana it's showing. Well, on the side, there is a scale and I can lower that. And it will show me a visualization of how much banana I am eating. The carb count is adjusted. So right now, half the banana is 13.6 grams of carbs. Go all the way up and it's 31.1. So now I can see exactly how much banana I'm eating and how many carbs that's going to have. And this application can do so many different things. So you can like just type in, let's do pasta. So once I do that, it's gonna show me all these different pastas. Of course, you can get very detailed with this because there are so many options here. Like for example, let's say it's angel hair pasta. Go into there and then I could put in, you know, that's, um, there's no way I'm gonna eat that much pasta. But you can see the carbs are adjusting and then if I wanted to put in the sauce, there you go, it's showing you how many carbs are in the sauce. So you can really get into all the minute things so let's say you go to dinner and you're gonna have some bread and some pasta and then some fried calamari. Let's even put fried calamari. Let's see if that's there. Calamari, fried, there it is. And you can see for that much, it's 12 grams. Honestly, I'd probably eat that much, 30 grams. Bigwe is an incredible app. It is free, but there is also a membership for $7.99 a month, which unlocks the ability to log all of this activity and create favorites. The food favorites is a good aspect of the paid version because you can log all these different foods as your favorites. So I can just go in here and then I can add it to my food faves and then on my food faves, you see it right there. I can go back there every time I eat this different type of food. Figwe is great if you can see the actual food you're about to eat, but what if you go to a restaurant, a chain restaurant, and you wanna look up those meals. Well, there's a few different ways you could do that, but there is a fantastic app for that, and that's called Calorie King. Let's take a look at it. Calorie King is also free. There is the ability to remove ads in the top corner. I'm sure the ads will pop up as I'm going over this. It's the least expensive uh, main version than all the apps I'm showing you today. This one has a few different options. First, there's food categories. So this will go, you can go in and find actual brands of food. So let's say I wanted to do like, I mean, there's so many, I'm gonna go into breakfast cereals and then ready to eat. And I'm gonna look for, let's say Kellogg's. So I'm gonna go to K, there's Kellogg's. And then it gives me all of the different Kellogg's uh, different cereals. That is a lot. So let's go say I wanna go to Frosted Mini Wheats, which I've had before and let's do the little bites. And then here it shows you how much. So let's say you had the box, but you put it into a container, you don't have it anymore. 
This you'd be able to find. Now I could put in the amount of cups I'm having. Let's say I'm having one. I could go in and put two and it will change the carb count for me. So, wow, that's a lot of carbs. Also in food categories, I could go to, let's say, coffee, an iced coffee, go to coffees. And then here, there's a whole list of coffees. Personally, I like Starbucks and it gives you, it doesn't give you as much as I'd like to see. So maybe there is room for some improvement, but one drink that I do actually drink is vanilla sweet cream cold brew. I tap in there. This is for a Trenta, which is an interesting uh, main one to have because that's the largest one, but uh, you can't go in and change it, but it is a good basis of like, okay, if that one is 26 grams, the venti and the grande will be like this much. So that is the food categories. Next up is food brands, and this is great for different restaurants that there are a lot of. And so I'm gonna click into food brands. One restaurant that I've gone to a couple times is Olive Garden. There it is. And it literally gives you so many different things to look at, whether it's appetizers, beverages, desserts, lunches, menu items, salads, sauces, so much here. What I really wish there was was like a search in this area, unfortunately you can't do that. You have to go into each individual one, but let's just say appetizers. And it shows you all of the appetizers at the restaurant. I don't know if this is actually all the appetizers. I'd be curious if you know Olive Garden, let me know in the comments. But let's say I'm gonna get the calamari as served. There's 48 grams of carbs in one order. I looked through this app. There's also Applebee's and TGI Fridays. There are so many options here and you'll probably find the restaurant you're looking for if they're a big chain. Next up, let's go to food, fast food chains. So this is like basically every fast food chain you could find. Of course you can find these online, but this is just a quick way of doing it. I also looked at these carb counts versus online and they were like the same. So I'm gonna go to one of my favorite restaurants that is In-N-Out. So let's see, there it is. And In-N-Out has a small menu, so that's why you're not gonna see that much, but there's everything I need to know. So let's say I'm gonna get a double-double burger, 39 grams of, uh, of carbs. Then I go to the fries. They only have one size of fries and that's 54 grams. And then sometimes I'll get a milkshake and let's say it's a chocolate shake. And then there you go. I can see how many carbs are in it as well. So I'm able to build up my entire meal right then and there quickly. That way I can give myself insulin and then eat the meal. There's also the ability to scan barcodes I haven't personally used that. Uh, I haven't found a need for it, especially since the foods that probably have barcodes will also have the carb count, but it does have that ability. And the next app I wanna look at is MyFitnessPal. This is designed, I think, for people who are also looking at all the food they're eating and maybe managing their weight and maybe on a diet, but this is also a very powerful app for people who just wanna look up carb count to treat their diabetes with insulin. So. This is the main screen. There is a premium version. This is the most expensive of all the apps I showed you. It's $20 a month or $80 a year. Uh, probably better off going the year if you do like it. Now at the bottom, this is where you can look up anything. Same as the other apps. I like this search feature. So let's say I wanna look up a banana. I'm gonna search banana. It shows me one medium banana. There's also a large banana. So I'm gonna tap into there and right there I can see the carb count. So I can also, if I want, add this to my like meals for the day. And that's where this app, like people really enjoy it for kind of managing what they're eating and seeing what they eat over a span of time. So I can click that plus button and I can add that to, let's say I ate it for breakfast. So the food is now logged. To get to that, I can go to my diary and this is where you can see I had a banana for breakfast. Um, this is good if you wanna see like, oh, this is how different foods affected me on certain days. So you could like look at your blood sugar readings over a span of time and then look at your MyFitnessPal and kind of compare. So that could be a good reason for using this. This app also has the ability to scan barcodes like Calorie King that I showed you. That way you can log the exact type of food into the app and you can also scan meals. So this will take a picture of a meal. It won't give you the carb count, which is like, the like biggest hope for people with diabetes is that there will one day be an app where you just like scan something and it's like, this is the carb count. Um, if we ever get there one day, I will 
be very happy. <laughs> um, so that is my fitness pal. This could be helpful for way more reasons than just carb counting for some people. So this could be a good option for you. Now let's get into voice assistance. This is one of the best ways of looking up carb counts and easiest. You can use uh, Siri on an iPhone, Google Assistant on Android, and even an Amazon you know who if you have one in your home. Now, let me show you how this works. You can just literally ask your voice assistant for something and it usually finds it for you. So let's try one. How many carbs are in eight ounces of orange juice? So there you go, it pops up on the screen. Eight ounces of orange juice has 26 grams of carbs. Great, let's ask another type of food. How many carbs are in a cup of pasta? So this time it said about two grams of net carbs. That is not correct. And I actually asked this question yesterday and it worked fine, but you know, that shows you that this isn't a perfect system. And that's showing, I believe, a keto, keto fettuccine recipe, which has low grams. So let me, let me do, um, penne instead. How many carbs are in one cup of penne pasta? So this time I tapped into one of those links. It takes me to fatsecret.com, uh, which is actually a pretty good website. And it, it shows me that it's 42.95 grams of carbs. So it's not always gonna be perfect. It worked the first time. The second time I had to click into one of the links, but still that was very fast. Let's try one other thing. How many carbs are in a baked potato? This time it worked pretty well. It said there are 37 grams of carbs in a medium-sized baked potato. That's voice assistance. But let's say you don't wanna use the apps, you don't wanna use voice assistance. Well, then the web is your friend. Just Google it. So I'm on Google. I'm gonna search Starbucks Nutrition. See what happens when I do that. Right away, you can see on top there is an entire menu of easy access items. So I can click through here. Let's say I just wanted to get even a little bit more like detailed, vanilla sweet cream. Now when I do that, it doesn't show me on top like through Google, but it takes me right to the Starbucks menu. And so when I click in there, it will show me the nutrition. And there it is. So you can see 14 grams of carbs for what size? A grande. Let's see if I can change it to venti here and then see full nutrition and ingredients list. There we go, I switched it to venti, and then now it updated with 23 grams of carbs. But there's even more you can do specifically on Google. That's just finding something uh, and going to their website. But let's say I put in and out nutrition. From here, again, the whole menu comes up. I can say I, I click on cheeseburger with onion, and it shows on the side that there are 39 grams of carbs in there. Then I can go over to, let's see if I can find French fries. There are French fries, I click into that and you can see 52 grams of carbs. Google is a great source of information for carb count and all nutritional information, whether that's going to an actual website through Google or Google's layout of showing the menu, clicking onto it and giving you the actual carb count right on the website. Pretty cool stuff. Those are my carb counting tips. Let me know if you have questions about anything I talked about today or carb counting in general. I've got more videos coming out every single Friday, so make sure you subscribe to the channel and click that bell if you want alerts. I've also got a ton on social media. My handles are right here. More tips there, short form videos, and if you enjoyed today's video, be sure to give it a like so other people can find it. I'm Justin, and I'll tech you later.